this is Mr. Sega, and OG, and the Sega Market, the Sega Shutters, Pickups, I haven't been around yet, I don't want to look at it, Shutters, OG, and so on. Thank you. That was really nice of Mr. Sega to do, introduce this pickup video here. Um, and Lara's very happy about it as well. Um, <laughs> this is actually the last pickup of the day I got. It was um, a very happy looking Lara, I suppose. <laughs> um, I, th I don't know if she's meant to be on a bike or something because it, it looks like she's supposed to, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, yes, um, I was at the London Gaming Market again the past Sunday. Um, yeah, fourth one, um, went out gaming with my brother, a lot of good sellers again, um, Cave of Pixels was there again, yeah, I didn't, um, I couldn't actually carry anything home, um, I couldn't buy anything from there because I didn't have the space or anything to sort of carry it with me home, but he had a hell of a lot of good stuff there, um, he had a Ghostbusters, um, pixel art he did, which is really cool, and there's another seller there who was, d who did the same sort of pixel bead art, which had, um, like Mortal Kombat 2 characters, and that looked really, you know, they looked really good. I kind of wished I could have picked some up, but um, space, and I, like, I just couldn't. So, um, haven't didn't pick up much this time, but um, what I picked up, I'm really, really bloody happy with. So, um, let's have Lara, um, Neil, looking happy, whatever. She can pose with everything that I put down. Well, try to anyway. Um, okay, well, um, I won't show you the first thing I picked up. I'll leave that until last because I'm really glad I finally got it. Um, you probably guess what it is if you watched any of these pickup videos before. But um, the second thing I picked up was Eternal Champions on the Mega Drive. Yeah, and this is a special collector's edition, which, um, from what I understand, it's the manual. Yeah. But, and I think it's just like a prettier looking manual if I can open it. Just, yeah, look. Um, all the character art and sort of stuff like that in there, which is, which is nice, I suppose. I mean, I wasn't, I did only noticed it said the, um, it was a special collector's edition when I got it home. But um, I've always enjoyed um, Eternal Champions. Um, a lot of people sort of said it was like a, a poor man's Mortal Kombat, which could well be, you know, well, I know, it's, <laughs> I have played it before, my cousin used to have it, and I used to play it a lot there, but I enjoy it, it's a, not the best fighting game, but it's it's enjoyable, I liked it, um, there you go, Lara, you can go on, pose the other way around with it, there you go, but yeah, I enjoy it, um, Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I've been had my eye on that for a while, and um, I've saw it there last last couple of times I've seen it there. It's been about sort of twelve or thirteen pounds. That was a fiver, so yeah, <laughs> glad I wait waited that out. And another one, I am um, kind of glad I waited out because I've, I've have I've wanted this ever since I got my Dreamcast. Really, I remember renting it a lot. And um, whenever I've seen it, it's always been ridiculous prices. Um, I don't know why, but um, last couple of times I was up there, this particular game was 15, 16 pounds. I picked it up for eight this time. Pen pen. <laughs> it's just like a silly, it's a silly racer, really. Yeah, yeah. and like a triathlon, but they, I think they call it the triathlon. You know, you're. Um, I haven't, I haven't actually played this since renting it from Blockbuster, like when Blockbuster was in business, which was goddamn years ago. But it's just like a sort of fun kiddie racer for the Dreamcast. I believe it was a launch title as well. Um, I always, always just wanted a copy of it just to have a copy, really. Um, and I probably will. <laughs> Once I set the Dreamcast up, I probably will be um, chucking this in every now and then because, um, I don't know. This is just something about this one, this game I wanted, and let's have Lara pose with this one as well. There we go. 
Come on, you're going to stay there. Good. Yep, so I'm glad to pick that up for cheap. Sometimes it's good to wait that out because, like I said before, um, both those games were far more last time than um, what I paid this time for them. So I'm um, happy about that. Um, the next... This was one, well, one of the last items I picked up. Um, there was merch there this time because last time there wasn't a, that much. There was like sort of plushy toys and stuff, but outside of that, that was it really. And this time they had like a t-shirt stalls and stuff, which is really cool. And um, picked up a oh, Doom t-shirt just because I wanted a Doom t-shirt. Um, yeah, <laughs> not much more outside of that. I'm just glad they had. Um, Sort of like t-shirts and sort of things more of that um this time around than last time um it's still like this one was still it was better than last time still not as not quite as good as the second time there um it's just the second time i think they just nailed it right because they um they had more of the um the rooms open it was just it was more, far more sort of relaxed to walk through i mean it was a bit more this time around than the third time but it still seemed it seemed more cramped and you, you were still pushing trying to you know people were like pushing front and it took a while to get to the you know see the games and everything but um it was still enjoyable um yeah they just if they just had that third room um it, it would have seemed, you know, a bit more breathing room would have been nice, but whatever. Anyway, the last, well, the last thing I'm going to show, but it was the first thing I picked up, which, bear in mind, me and my brother turned up an hour later. You know, doors open at 11, we arrived just before 12. And this was still here, and every time I've been there previously, I've asked for this, they've always said, you're about the tenth person to ask, and we just either just sold it or haven't got any. And um, I've bought, got this from, I believe it's Console Passion. Um, I'll leave all the links to these sellers um, in the description and everything. A boxed Sega Saturn 3D controller. I have been looking for one of these about 15 years, and it's always been overpriced or not been able to just not been able to get it. It's all boxed, and what was, I thought was really cool. If I can, let's open this up. Ugh. Now, uh, I'll take this off the camera. Yeah, stuff falling everywhere. It's still got all the um, pamphlets and stuff, um, obviously, that it came boxed with, and you know, like a little catalogue of upcoming. You know, Sat Sega Saturn games and oh, a lot actually. Yeah, look at that. What they got here? Sega Touring Cars, Worldwide Soccer, Manx T. I've got most of these games actually. Saturn Bomberman, Duke Nukem 3D, Resident Evil, and look, Sega on PC as well. Yeah, and Netlink. Who remembers a Netlink? But um, yeah, I just thought that was really cool. Um. Like a little, I'm not too bothered about boxed stuff, and I know some people like they freak out if something's not boxed or you know things like that. I mean, look, that's a bit sort of chewed. These missing the hang tab. YouTube game collectors probably think this is the most disgusting box I've ever seen because of that. Um, Dreamcast, it, it the um, the just the corner here is sort of like snapped off. But then again, Dreamcast boxes aren't the best. You well, especially European boxes, they like. They're kind of crap, and um, they they're sort of prone to. Um, let's have a lot of sit down here. They're prone to sort of like breakage, but um, yeah. Uh, uh, even though this is like the it's the American box for um, the 3D controller, but I'm really happy I finally have a Sega Saturn 3D controller. Yep, look, and obviously, well, obviously it's got the. Um, the cable to plug it in but um finally have one that was the first thing i picked up there and i said to my brother we could go home now there's nothing more i need <laughs> I, ha I have my elusive sega saturn 3d controller and i was happy with that but um 
but we did look around we did pick up all this other stuff which is really cool and um yeah that's it really um well i'll be going i don't know if i'll be going to the next um gaming market if i'm honest with you because there really isn't that much more i'd want to get um i mean they had um sort of 3do games up there which um not, not like any anything amazing but they had sort of rise of the robots and alone in the dark and stuff but um i've already got alone in the dark so i didn't need it and uh, the, i don't know if you could it's probably making out on camera but the dog's going absolutely ballistic now downstairs so i'll end this now um i've just hit 700 subscribers as well so everyone who subscribed thanks a lot you know um and i don't put content out that much but it's appreciated and Black Arrow Game Talk, I want to give those guys a shout out as well. They um, just hit 300 subscribers as well about a week ago. So kudos for them. Go check them out if you haven't. They're really cool guys. And um, if they are going to the next gaming market, that's the reason why I'll probably go to sort of meet up and hang out with them. But um, yeah, these are the pickups for um, the last one of 2016. And there we go. That's all it is, and um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again later. Bye.